this looks good so the next step then will be to fix all this barbed wire all the way down and cut back in and split this back 30 acres into half and uh, 15 acres is what it is split the back 15 acres well, hey everybody, Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard, glad to have you here. So I'm, I'm continuing on with my fence build here. So what I've done is I converted old uh, chain link into something that looks like pipe fence. And uh, I'm using salvage, all these vintage salvage pieces, uh, the horse heads and whatnot. So uh, rather than run chain link in the middle, which would look awful, I have two options. One option would be to run the grid hog fence in there but the other option is out of the old uh, tin in the back of the this uh, farm there's a bunch of antique barbed wire and it's stacked up six feet high so I went there and I, I went and got the best rolls that weren't despooled and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount those up into each panel using stainless steel straps to hold it uh, hopefully in a decorative kind of an art uh, deco vibe uh, the ends of these are not yet poured because they'll have additional concrete and then these pads will be built out of uh, field stone, uh, white limestone, Edwards limestone, up high enough to support the weight of this pipe gate which is extremely heavy. So let me go ahead and show you the tool that I'm going to use for this job. Now I haven't used it myself so uh, it's a stainless steel like zip ties. You're, we're all familiar with zip ties, plastic zip ties. This is uh, similar to that but it does stainless steel which I know would hold these up. So that's my last function. Let me go ahead and get the tool. We'll look at it. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll do a couple of test pieces around a pipe here. See if I'm happy with it. And then we'll see if we can hang these uh, barbed wire rolls in there. And then if I decide that the middles are too open and I'm worried about the animals sticking their heads in there, I'm thinking of uh, like a little barbed wire dream catcher vibe in the middle of it. We'll see. But let's get these hung first. That'll be job one. So uh, these, I've brought a bunch of different sizes. I'm hoping I could put the straps in there and they'll still work. Now, uh, I haven't used this tool personally, but uh, back when I did um, uh, missile wiring for the Department of Defense, I used a lot of cable ties. So I'm convinced that I'll be able to figure this out without very much effort. Uh, bought these things just on Amazon. I looked for a five star and I just bought them. Stainless steel, I'm convinced that that won't ever rust out. And we'll go ahead and work on it. And then I have some little ones here. Well, they gave me a little, some little instructions. I'll hold those up for y'all. If you buy something like this, uh, cutium with an X, cutium. So one, two, three, four. Anyway, it's telling me. But I'll do a couple of test ones right here. Love you, baby girl. All right. So uh, I fooled around for a little bit. Looky here. I figured out how to strap it out where it looks pretty nice. And so. Uh, I put a big one on a little one, and then when I thread it together, um, you put the, uh, the cable tie inside of the device, like that. It clamps down. See how it clamps? It draws it tight, and when you are satisfied it's tight, you flip that, and it will cut it. So let's, let's go ahead and hang a few of these. And uh, I don't know if I'll use bungees at first uh, to kind of stage everything. I do think I might do that. And then I'll put the stainless steel and I'll, I'll put them in a way, uh, four corners or something, where these look decorative as well. All right, so this is a project I've never done. So uh, I'm going to be fooling around here. I'm not expecting it to be perfect the first time around. But uh, I'm satisfied with the concept. And I'm thinking that if I, uh, I can get this tight enough, maybe I don't need the, uh, I don't know if I can draw that tight enough. Maybe I won't need the uh, smaller one. Yeah, I, I think I might. Okay, especially if I go over. Yeah. See, it needs a little, it needs like an inch and a half of this. I don't see an inch and a half of that. All right, so all of these will need the little ones. Yeah. I'm 
well, I think I'll do this at first. And then I've always had the idea of coming in with old barbed wire like this and that and this and that and kind of anchoring it with old barbed wire. Let me go, let me put that up and see what I think. Well, if I hate this idea, I will cut it out, paint um, hog panel black and put it in there. But let me do it all the way first before I make any decisions. And then, uh, you know, I thought about a dream catcher in there. Let's see. Well, those don't look too bad. So, I think if I church this up so it looks uh, nice and neat, I might leave that since it's stainless steel. But I'm also not opposed to coming in when all's been said and done and just using barbed wire as the brace once I have them up, you know, kind of hiding those. Wrapping barbed wire around it. Let me do that. I don't have my gloves on, but I'll do it. Let me go get my gloves after this. Maybe if I get uh, pliers in there and work on it hard, let me chew on it for a while. First, I'll hang all these, though, with the stainless steel, now that I got a rhythm. As long as these are neat looking and not at angles, this kind of looks okay. I could always come back in and paint them black. All right, let's get a bigger one hung. First one always makes it wobble. And uh, maybe I tighten them too much, I don't know. I'm sticking the long one on top of the short one. three of them put in place. I think it's kind of working. Now again, there'll just be a temptation for animals to stick their heads through there, but do I care? Will they? Will they pull their heads back out? Will they knock the things around and spin them? You know, all those questions. So I think I need more than what I have. And the more could even be a piece of rebar that's run through you know, or something like that. The Dreamweaver idea, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm gonna give myself a B on this design. I kinda like it. I like the uh, the 
red of the rust up against the black of the matte black pipe. I think that looks really good. Let's go ahead and hang the rest of these. Alright, it took about 10 minutes to hang all of those. I'm going to go through with the uh, cutter now and tighten and cut them. So that won't take very long. Uh, what's, yeah, I'm still giving it a B, B, B plus. This guy, see the potential. All right, so you can see that the ratchet mechanism grabs an end of the strap and pulls it forward and then you can cut it with that thing. So uh, what I do is um, I see where it's not even hanging and I start tightening the ends and uh, making sure one end's not so tight that all the rest suffer. All right. Then I'll do the bottom ones as well. Trying to leave it balanced a little bit in the same methodology. And then once I'm satisfied with the alignment, 
I just push the cutter forward and it just chops that off. So pretty easy device to use. I've never used it before and you know I successfully used it today. I'm real happy with the work. Well, another day where the sunset has beat me to the punch and uh, I'm going to wrap it up. But I'm all done with the uh, layout. I just need to build uh, step four, which is the uh, engineer, the post and the gates and the uh, footings for the post and all of that. So the gates are heavy. Let's take a look at the work we did here today. And I have uh, other uh, spools of barbed wire. So some of them, that one looks a little skinny compared to the rest of them. So I could go out there and get a uh, additional bob wire spool. So um, I might run a piece of rebar through those and bolt it on just to cut it right down the middle. And then the cattle wouldn't be able to. Right now, if a cattle stuck its head through there, it would spin that or snap, maybe snap the stainless steel straps, maybe. But artistically speaking, I feel good about this design. Real good. It's simple. It tells me that there's something down here. Uh, the pedestrian gate's nice. I will paint that black. Although by having it not black, people will be able to see it easier. But I guess the uh, you know the little raised horse head pedestal gate uh, lintel will do that. This looks good. So the next step then will be to fix all this barbed wire all the way down and cut back in and split this back. 30 acres into half and uh, 15 acres is what it is split the back 15 acres in the half and then I can close this pipe gate when the cattle are loose and my house will be isolated right I won't have any animals in it that I don't want uh, occasionally I'll let the horses come up but uh, I don't want any cattle up there they're big and dumb and sweet all at once looks good I was hoping these lights would turn on you can get a look at those all right this is Steve a thousand year homes I want to thank you for watching like subscribe follow me along you gotta admit that I took a junky old uh, chain link leftover scrap chain link and I turned it into a, a fencing work of art it looks really good and uh, all set in total everything on there about five hundred and fifty dollars now there's uh, between three and five thousand dollars worth of pipe and and materials there and labor and etc cetera, etc. Cetera, if you paid to have a pipe welded and I will say as a solo builder I got it done faster even with all the other stuff I was doing than a uh, the folks I see you doing pipe fence they're taking years to get done out here years and uh, anyway I got that done uh, like subscribe follow me along thank you this is Steve a thousand year home bye. All right, there's the fence with the solar lights turning on. It's twilight. Let's walk up and look at those. Some of those I set to, to turn colors, and a couple of them I turn just for white. I haven't decided. They're in their final spot, but they're not mounted on their final post, so they'll change just a little bit, but not much. I don't know how I feel about the color changing. It's a little gimmicky, but I kind of enjoy the the difference. Watch it, see how many colors I go through. I saw about five different colors. Anyway, I enjoyed that.